But in any case, I just want to thank you for organizing this panel and inviting me here. So I want to talk about why I actually wrote a book about ACORN, and this is it, Seeds of Change. Um, because I, give, I think it gives some insight into why this is an important topic and all these questions are important. So I, sat, I actually sat down to write this book way before the current controversy in 2004. And uh, a lot of my friends would say, well, you, what are you writing about? I'm writing a book about ACORN. And I'd say, why are you writing a book about a group that nobody ever heard of? <laughs> and it was actually a good question. And this is the answer. Uh, I, at the time, uh, had been involved in social justice movements for over 35 years, and I thought it was time to take a break and to see what people like myself who emerged out of the 60s activism, uh, what we did, did we make any difference, did we bring about the kinds of changes we hoped, was it two steps forward, three steps back, or were or we moving forward? Uh, I had worked with church groups, environmental groups, anti-poverty groups. I was the executive director of a legal aid program for 22 years. Uh, I, had fa I founded a magazine called Shelter Force, which is a magazine that discusses issues of housing, community development, and poverty. I uh, helped found uh, an organization called New Jersey Citizen Action, which was part of a national network of activist groups who dealt with issues like the environment and healthcare, issues that brought the working class and the poor and the middle class together. And they all did great work. And I also shared this information with a regular radio program and the articles that I published and chapters I write and, and other people in the edited books. And, uh, and, all the, and I thought everybody was doing something and making a difference. But here it was, uh, 2004, uh, poverty was still widespread. There was a growing, growing gap between the rich and the poor. The national debate focused on issues like how do you cut taxes for the rich and how do you cut the social safety net for the poor. Uh, the fundamental values that I cherished, such as equality, opportunity, and justice, were losing out to the, the values of greed, materialism, and hate. Uh, <laughs> Large corporations and uh, the coalition of large corporations, the rich and Christian fundamentalists were really setting the debate in America. So whatever we were doing, it clearly wasn't enough. So I wanted to figure out how to get into that discussion. I heard of this group, ACORN. I knew something about it. I knew some of the people involved. I didn't know in depth what it was about, but I thought they started in 1970. That's about a period of time we all the, the, the post the civil rights, post the anti-war movement uh, uh, took, uh, took place. So I thought that would be a good organization to look at. I heard that they were making more than a small difference. Uh, so I wanted to examine them in detail, immerse myself in the group, see if what I thought was true. And if it was true, maybe uh, through that organization we could learn some lessons about uh, what progressives, activists should be doing, um, and uh, maybe we would inspire uh, myself as well as new thinkers and activists and, and organizers and thinkers and writers. I also thought that what, the way journalists and writers, uh, historians I should say since we're a historian conference, uh, wrote about inner city life poverty and activism was at best inaccurate, and most of the time sort of suck the life out of the reality of what activists actually do. So I thought, if I'm gonna write this book, I also wanna write it in the form of sort of a, na a narrative history, telling the stories of, of this group that I was gonna examine. So I started writing this book. Little did I know that for the next five years, four years, I would be embedded in this group. Uh, I was the only journalist that ever attended their staff meetings. As, uh, attended their board meetings. They, I, when I met with Steve Kest, who's the executive director, and said I wanted to write this book, but I, I want to do an honest book. It's going to be a warts and all. I'm going to report what I see. And, um, and you have to encourage people to talk freely to me. And I would say, uh, by and large, everybody talked freely. I had access to tons of material. Um, as we, as I don't know, we, we 
Peter Bell, but we, we have one of the, we have the founder of ACORN with us, Wade Rath. 